Hey everyone, figured I would get out here while at least it's still warm, sit on the porch a little bit, at least a little bit of a different view. I need to get some wood in, I just ain't felt like doing it, I just ain't felt really good today. I've just been dragging, just been in one of my moods, it's just, I'm not sleeping good at night. It's been a while since I've had a good night's sleep, I just can't sleep at night, I just constantly wake up, and I have to get up and clean or do something, I mean I just cannot sleep, I don't know what it is. I think it's just being under attack. Just constantly, it just never ends. That's how I know we're close. Satan does not want me to be on here with you. I'm not going to lie about it. He does not. He's tried to talk me out of the channel. Hey, you could easily cope more if you're just doing this by yourself. Constantly trying to talk me out of it. I mean, so I know we're close to something. Because you think you're the only one being attacked. You're not. He's attacking us all. He definitely hates this channel. I will tell you that. He don't want nobody here. He don't want me to be here with you. And I'm not going to listen to him. I know that we're here together, as I said, all the way to the end. And the way it's going, it ain't going to be that long. So, we carry on and do our best. And try to wake up as many people as we can. It's all we can do. I was watching the news that they shot down another drone, another drone. This time it was a Chinese drone in Ukraine, so that tells you the Chinese have been sending weapons there. Another thing happened is uh, there in Syria, the president has told Russia to come and stay there permanently, which puts a permanent pressure on Israel to have to deal with Russia the whole time. So. You know, I've always been taught when I was a kid, if you want to know when the end time comes, watch Israel. Well, Israel is in a pinch. They've got enemies on every corner, and they're going to have to react. And when they do, I think that's probably going to be right, at, right before or right after we're out of here. Or it could happen before. I mean, they could do some preemptive strikes and cause a major war there. But the, the bottom line is... Wars everywhere right now. I've never seen this many countries trying to go to war with each other. And we're on about four of those fronts. No way we can afford a war. We don't have the troops. We don't have the equipment anymore. We've sent it all to Ukraine. So, we've put ourselves in a predicament. Or did we? That's the question. I don't think we did. I think this was the Lord. I think he's watching over everything. Everything that's happening right now is meant to happen. The Antichrist is playing his role, getting these people to fight each other and to constantly go at each other. What you got to watch, though, I think the underdog in all this is North Korea. They're the ones that ain't scared to let off a weapon and use it. Actually, they're just antsy for it. And it only takes one to open Pandora's box. And we already know it gets open because I've already seen it. So, right now we're just sitting here waiting time that's all we're doing buying ourselves time waiting on jesus so if you're not part of the channel you just want to sit here and wait on jesus like we are to while we talk about the news and what the media ain't telling us we get messages from god to tell us what's coming it's a channel we tell you to read the bible because right now that's one of our major issues this country does not know the bible it's go through youtube watch the titles it's almost scary how many of these people do not know. I don't think they've ever opened a Bible in their life, in my opinion. But they just take things and they just kind of make the Bible their own. When you say America is Babylon, you're making the Bible your own because it does not say that. Every time, I'm telling you, people don't realize how bad that is to do that. The Lord says you will be a curse. Those who take and add and subtract to the Bible. And that's what they do. And they don't realize that that's going to come back to bite them. Real bad. Very soon, too. It ain't going to be long. But they got to an answer for that. Yeah, you can repent from it. But they better repent fast. Because they're running out of time. I am very careful. If somebody asks me a question, I don't just go and find it myself. And then refind it. I go through a process of different people. Bonnie Reed, Bonnie McCoy, different people that I go through. Okay, 
What do you think about this? What do you think about that? You've got to have a counsel to make sure you don't get it wrong because that's the one thing I don't want to do is tell you something wrong because I know the consequences of it. That's why I don't add to the Bible. I don't subtract. That's why you don't see me with all those great big titles that all these YouTube channels have to lure you in to get your clicks. We don't do that here. I'm not here to make money or anything like that. I do support the Jews, and a lot of you all have helped me do that, and I appreciate that. Besides that, I don't really care. I know we don't have that long to be here, so I'm not too worried about it. My job is to be here, just kind of ride this out with you guys, and hopefully we gain a lot of members on, on the way there. That's what we do here. We have a Facebook channel, we have Telegram, we have about everything. It's just basically built for you, a place for you to go, because we know how bad it is today, and nobody believes that Jesus is coming. So it's basically all of us huddled up in one group, and that's what we do here. And we, we invite everybody, if you, if you want to be here with us and have somebody to talk to, we're glad to have you, because we know what you're going through. And trust me, everybody's being battled right now. And I pray in Jesus' name, I pray a shield over each and every one of you, and your families in Jesus' name, that Lucifer will stop this attack against you and your family in Jesus' name. I pray in Jesus' name that God lightens the hearts of your children and your family members that are not saved. In the name of Jesus, it will be done. We're all in this together. Very soon, we won't have to deal with this anymore. We'll be off here. We'll be in heaven where it's whole lot better place. It's peaceful. We don't have to worry about no more wars or any of that crap. That will all be gone. We don't have to worry about people making fun of Jesus on the air. And let me tell you something, people. It's everywhere. In Hollywood, in the music industry, they're all making fun of him. And they've made it a habit to do it right in front of our face. So it's everywhere. But let me tell you something. They're going to regret it one day very, very soon. When he parts that sky, they're going to run to their little bunkers and they're going to hide, but there's nowhere for them to hide. All that's going to come crashing down on them all at once. That's why I tell you, me and Bonnie McCoy have talked about this many times. A lot of people say, Chris, you need to leave the tribulation saints alone. Let them do their job. But what they don't understand, yeah, there's going to be a lot of them say, but a lot of them never make it off the ground. That's the ones I'm trying to wake up. Is the ones that never become a tribulation saint. And there will be millions of them that never make it to that point. That's what these other channels won't tell you. Because they don't realize in World War III, half the population is wiped out by these weapons. These people don't never get a foot off the ground to be a tribulation saint. So I try to wake up as many as I can. People can get mad at me or want, don't care. Don't care if you believe me or not. But it will happen. And it's going to happen, man. It's going to happen very soon. I'm just sitting here waiting on the things to fly. That's all I'm doing. Because I know one day soon, it's going to happen. And the way they're going with these other countries, one of them is going to do a sucker punch. It's going to happen. If you don't believe that, God help you is all I can tell you, because it will happen. It happens on a day like this. I'm driving, the truck dies, every car dies, the planes fall out of the sky. It does happen. The first strike is not on the ground, it's in the air. It is an EMP like we have never seen. And there's not just one of them, there's many. And everything goes dead, all electronics, everything dead. It happens on a warm day, just like this. And later that night, the missiles, the rest of it, will fly. It will not be a good day to be an American citizen, I promise you. It's going to be a scary time. I don't know how much pain we, we inflict on the, the other ones, if we ever find out who does it. or I guess we do eventually know who did it. I don't know who did it. I have assumptions had to be two very powerful countries to pull it off, what they do. But it does happen. Luckily, we're out of here right after the EMP. 
We are here during that time. And then after that, I mean, it's very short time after, and I mean, maybe hours were out. So, all this will come to pass. And I'm not the only one that's seen it. There's been many. Many people have seen it. Mine was very clear and very, I'll never forget it. Never forget it. The Lord showed me it. He knew it was going to come, just like I saw 9-11 right before it happened. Two weeks beforehand, I told the church what would happen. Many churches asked me to come and talk in these churches about what I saw. And then two weeks later, it happened. Not a prophet. Just like everybody else, I listen and I see. And I'm telling you, I've been warning everybody since I saw it what's going to happen. But we all know that, you know, this, this has got to happen. It's in the Bible. It's going to happen. People think that the world's going to go on for a thousand years. I'm here to tell you it's not going to go on another year. People just believe that the world's going to keep on ticking, and it's not. We are at the end. That's why the Lord told us to tell everybody he's coming. He didn't say that for his health. Now, you can either believe that or not. It's up to you. There's nothing I can do to make you believe it. But when Jesus tells me he's coming... I'm, getting, I'm ready. And I'm going to sit here and be ready. When that sky opens up, I'm out of here. You want to stay here and live on this planet with not much left of it, you knock yourself out. But I advise you, get yourself ready. Call upon Jesus in these last days. Call upon him. He's the only way. These other people will tell you there's other ways to get there, but there ain't. There's only one way, and that's Jesus. And you got to truly believe him. You can't just tell God to, hey, forgive me for my sins, and I believe you did it, died on the cross, and not believe it. It's more than that, people. You got to believe it, that he is real, and what he did was real. If you believe that, you're saved. Bottom line. That's all you got to do. You got to truly believe it. And when the Lord told me that he's coming on October the 24th, I got ready, people. That's why I started the channel, started telling everybody. Do not fear what's to come. This is a good time for us. This is our, our opportunity to get out of here, and it's going to be a good one. And I will see each and every one of you there, and I'm glad God brought you here. So don't think you're not special. He, when he wanted me to create this channel, I remind you over and over. He said, I will bring my sheep to this channel. They will hear what you're saying, and they will know it's true. He said, the other ones will not hear it, and they won't accept it. So you're the ones he, he wanted this channel for. And it's been a pleasure for to be here with you guys. And you all have done an incredible job that I could never imagine how wonderful you guys have been. And I'm very excited to spend eternity with you. Very excited. I think we're all going to have some pretty good times up there, and I look forward to being with each and every one of you and your families. So God bless. I guess I'll be back here tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a little bit chillier. Probably won't be back outside again. But maybe we're out of here tonight. Maybe this is the last day. I do know this. Something's coming, people. I don't know if you feel it, but I do. And it's strong. It's the strongest it's been in a long time. Something's around the corner, so keep your eyes out. If you don't see or hear from me again, I'll see you in heaven.